Okay, everybody. So I'm down here in my brother's uh, in my brother's house today, down in the basement. I'm sure some of you remember this. Remember the uh, remember the high sense dehumidifier I made uh, the video of the 2017 uh, model. <clears throat> well, I got something to tell you. You see this right here? That's a replacement. <laughs> you heard right. So they had it roughly two years or something, and then one problem happened, and then another one happened after, okay? Let me go show where the original one is. Here in the workshop. Okay. All the sawdust. We were in, in here yesterday building this table for his uh, power tools. Here's the original one. Here's the original one right here. Now, he put it in here because the, the first problem that the uh, thing had was, remember the pump to pump the water out? That stopped working. And what happened was, I, I walked by it, and I noticed that the pump light was blinking. And anytime you have a blinking light on one of these things, you know it's got to be something bad. All right? So the light was so the light was blinking. So the first thing he did was he brought it into here and, you know, used it, emptied the, the bucket manually, and just it worked fine. Then I kind of noticed that this air was pretty cool when it was coming out, okay? And now this workshop really is, like, no cooler than the rest of the basement, so it's totally fine. But the first thing I noticed was this air here was pretty cool, all right? And then after that, I noticed it was kind of wet here. And then I pull this out, and guess what? It has ice buildup. So you know what that means? Kind of like the video that Spatsbear made in 2010, it probably lost refrigerant. I mean, it's amazing. Spatsbear, I'll, I'll put a link to his video in the, in the description, okay? His video he made just over nine years, nine, nine and a half years ago, and con all, considering it's aged extremely well, all right? The same thing happened here, and I'll show it to you in a bit, and I got some pictures too. I noticed was the air coming out of here was cool, and then it was all icy here and here as well, all right? So, I mean, it, you almost have to laugh, all right? Two years old, two and a half years old, I think this thing is... Or no, I think just two, but whatever. Two years old, and pump fails, and then refrigerant leaks out. It's absolutely amazing. Now, the replacement that you saw, let me just go back to that quickly. All right. This, re this replacement he got through warranty, so, you know, it didn't cost him anything to, to get this new one, which was good. But, you know, is he going to have to do this every two years? I mean, just the lack of quality in these things today is insane. It really is. Now, just to show you, just to show some examples while it's running here, I have my infrared thermometer, you may remember. Let me, um, just, just for comparison purposes, let's see. Uh, the air coming out of there is about 63, uh, 63, wow, okay. Um, 86 degrees, give or take. So 86 degrees on this new one. Hey, and obviously, for right now, this one's working, you know, um, the, the air coming out is warm, like you saw, 80, 86, okay? And, um, and the pump does work. One di a couple differences I can tell you between this dehumidifier and the original, this one is a little bit quieter, and so is the pump. So, but does that mean anything? I have my doubts, as you can tell. And the pump isn't even something like, like a normal pump that you would expect, okay? Um, mo mo pumps usually have an impeller or a rotor that spins, okay? But this type of pump, think of, you know, an air pump for, like, bicycle tires, okay? You know, you move the handle up and down, and the air only moves one way. Well, think of that principle for the same thing for this pump here. So you have, you have a tiny pump that goes back and forth really fast instead of spinning. And, I, I mean, really? Like, it's just crazy. So, what we're going to do now is, let's go back to the original dehumidifier, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So unlike the, 20, the, the 2010 Kenmore that he had, this is still all together, so I can turn this on and show it to you. What we'll do is we'll take off the back compartment here, which is where the filter is, all right? Like, and then you can see the filter's clean. It has nothing to do with that. And here's the evaporator coil. The ice tends to build up a little bit on the bottom here. So what we'll do first is let's, um, <clears throat> let's turn it on, and you'll see. So we'll turn on. There it goes. And... Um, We'll let it run for a little bit, and I can show you the air temperature that comes out of there. And that's another thing, too. On the replacement dehumidifier, the blower wheel looks more balanced. Again, I don't think that's really going to mean anything. Those are just things I've noticed. So, 
Hey, you can hear um, you can hear the compressor running right now. So, uh, yep, it is going, and evaporator hasn't really cooled down yet. But what I'll do is I'll let this run for a few minutes, then um, we'll come back here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Hopefully, you'll, you'll get to see some ice build up. All right, guys. So not much has happened yet, but what I want to do is I just want to show you temperature differences for the uh, discharge for um, both the original one and the replacement. So just to show you comparisons here. Let's get the thermometer on again. Okay. So there. See it's about um, 69, 70 degrees. Let's see if we can get a better shot. Yeah, like r roughly 70 degrees or so. So it's a lot cooler, obviously. And then go to the uh, replacement. Yeah, this one just sounds different too, so. See, 84. <clears throat> so there's about a 15, 16 degree difference. So 81, 80, yeah, it's going all around. So I said that there's about a 16 degree difference with the discharge of this new one and the original one. So as they both roll, that one that one's doing fine, obviously, but as this one runs, uh, I'll continue to see if there's any uh, ice buildup um, like before. Okay, so I took off the back panel. And there you have it, guys. <laughs> That's all ice. Pretty amazing, huh? So let's just recap here. Dehumidifier was about two years old. Uh, the pump goes bad first. And then the refrigerant leaked out. I mean... <laughs> Like, you, you have to laugh at this lack of quality sometimes. Like, you really do. Alright? And, like, look how high this ice is building up, alright? It's crazy. So, you know what? Just, just to... <clears throat> let me show you two pictures here, okay? Th this is actually pretty much nothing. Here are two images I saw where... You can see the, the remnants of a puddle on the floor here, okay? Where the ice buildup wasn't just here, okay? It was also outside here on the plastic casing, alright? Here's two pictures uh, showing you that. So yeah, like you saw, that's pretty serious, all right? And again, it, it, it's really un unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, two years old, lost refrigerant, and bad pump. Now, mind you, the, the Kenmore at my place, all right, it's 32 years old, and what did it need recently? A humidistat. That's it. Fan's good, compressor is good, refrigerant pressure is good. Because it's crazy. All this plastic, lack of quality, and, you know, what have you. And, like I said, this replacement does sound a little bit different than the other one, but, you know, again, I don't think that's really going to mean much. It's absolutely crazy, guys, you know? Really. But I can tell you one thing here, though. My brother actually did say, since this is like the unfinished, you know, kind of part of the basement still, he actually did say getting a vintage one from here would be good, since he empties it manually all the time. And I would certainly love to find him one. Maybe eBay has something or whatever, but, you know, if I could find him a Kenmore... Or Whirlpool one with the wood grain. That's going to be quality. You're not going to have a coil icing up like that. That's just amazing. Well, we'll go ahead and turn this off now. And this will probably start um, defrosting uh, pretty soon. You can hear me making noise already. So guys, there you have it. That's just today's quality or lack thereof. Two years old, lost refrigerant, and a pump went bad. So... I just got to stress on to you guys, you know, if you want to get a dehumidifier for wherever you live, go on eBay and get something vintage, because if you get something like this, you're probably going to be very disappointed. So just a sign of today, huh? Just really, it, it makes you laugh a little bit, it really does. Alright, so there you have it. The 2017 Hisense dehumidifier already chined out. And just too funny, all things considered. And just remember, oh, oh excuse me, just remember to check out Spats Bear's uh, video in the video description. And uh, you'll see um, exactly what he talked about over nine years ago. The same thing happened just here. So, as you know, modern for the loss and vintage for the win as always. Thank you very much for watching. 
and take care.